going to show you the part two of the Tinkerbell cake. And if you haven't seen the part one, I have the link up there. You can click so you know how to mold the cake like that. I'm sorry that it doesn't have the first five seconds of the video that I was painting the blue, but I'm repainting it because I look at my camera and it wasn't recording. I don't know why. So I was doing the second eye when I realized the first one didn't work. So I just repainted on the top. I'm just doing a little blue on the circle of her eye. And we're gonna um, just be sure that it's rounded and perfect. And now with just a little bit tiny bit of white, we're gonna put right in the center and you mix those two colors together because the blue is too wet. We just wanted to give an impression that it's not that black, you know, like black color. Um, this is a, a dot too. It makes a bunch of polka dots. It has like six sizes and six um, parts. And if you want to know what to find it, just let me know. I leave the link below. It's good because if you want to po make polka dots or things like that, you know, then it's always the same size. And with a um, very liner um, brush, very skinny one. Um, I'm gonna make her eyebrows. Since I make the part, I, I made the part one of the video using the same, you know, the same face. So I know what the mark is. But if you don't, keep your picture together, like it's, you can see the chicken bell is right there, the picture, and just you know trace before. And we are gonna use a little tiny strokes because you want it really to look like it's her eye. Um, eyebrows so it's a little tiny piece of hair so that's what we're gonna do go gentle go slow and you you can do it fine just go you know take your time and give the details like a little love <laughs> but if you don't want to paint or you don't think you can paint or you don't want to buy all those colors you can watch the part one of the video and you can all do that of, of fondant or gum paste if you're making edible cake if you're making a mold for any other clay, you can just use an acrylic paint. And now I'm making the second eyebrow because you kind of don't see it because it's under her bangs, but it's still, you can, you know, it's peeking right there. I made this line because I wanted to divide that part, you know, that bone that we have there, but I thought it was a little dark. So you see that I, I you know, <laughs> I got everything out, but you can leave it there if you think it's cool. And now with the same liner and black, I'm going to go all around her eyes to make those eyes pop. And because in the picture she has that, uh, you know, that eye liner right there. So that's what I'm making right now. A lot of people ask what kind of paint I use for cakes. And I use the airbrush ones, the liquid ones. You can use any type of paint. If you're using powder or gel or anything, you just need to... A mix with a little alcohol like clear alcohol don't worry about putting alcohol in a cake because it's going to evaporate when you serve the cake it's not going to be there at all so um, that's how you make if you have the powder but I have the airbrush and I think it's easier because they are all mixed they look like normal acrylic paint and it's so easy to you you know to make and I have a bunch of colors so that's what I use if I'm not making a edible cake um i can use any acrylic paint that you can find in any store walmart michael's joanne's or any craft store and i'm still just going around um her eyes with the black right there if you haven't subscribed to my channel subscribe you have the cake that right there it's super easy you subscribe and you're not gonna miss any other um tutorial that is coming up um i'm gonna make Another tutorial for cake between my ha uh, my Halloween <laughs> tutorials that are coming up because um, I was requested to make the sadness um, from inside out cake. So I'm going to make that very soon. And I'm going to start my Halloween thing because, you know, October is right there. With the liner, a little tiny... Um, shorter because i think it's easier to make eyelashes and to make the center the eye that's what i'm making i'm outlining the blue of her eyes be careful to don't go over the white or go over the blue try to get right with that get together because you don't want to make her eyes bigger or smaller it's just to give a little you know 
um, definition because she is the cartoon face so they have all that sorry that I turned around if you're used to my videos you know that I always turn around to make the other eye and I'm sorry about um, my hair as I said I'm sorry on the part one too because I made right after and I didn't realize that my hair was in front of you until I was editing the video but now I promise I am gonna put my hair <laughs> up and now we are almost done um, with the eyeliner I'm gonna leave that drying to the other side and I'm gonna start with the eyelashes so the eyelashes they go um, longer to the outer corner to the inside of our eyes so that's why I'm making if you have a issue, like a little trouble to know how long they need to be you look at the picture and you can make a, a, a line around where they need to be like I'm gonna show you right now so you need to be there so now we are free to go over tiny little strokes to make that detail and you know exactly where you, know, you need to go it's a good tip if you're not sure and if you don't want to go over or go overboard and make a bunch and now um, that was a little bit dry so I could go around I'm gonna eyeline the other eye and if you just um, new for my channel and you don't know this actually is not a cake because I was making so many cakes and we couldn't eat anymore <laughs> this is a fake cake but the process is exactly the same you just change the materials for edible and you're gonna cut the fondant the same I actually use co porcelain that's air dry clay, uh, clay and actually you can find air dry clay in Walmart I saw today in a Walmart and you just you know color them tinting them or any acrylic water based paint I know you can't see anything because my freaking hair is in front of everybody but I'm just making the same process for the eyelashes to the other side I made a circle to know where I was going to go and I'm just um, making that part for us to be able to see see now I thought since the first um, part of the video I just used um, clay or fondant whatever you guys are making um, I thought then I could give a little bit more two dimension for her lips and I'm using a little pale you know um, pink nude pale pink and I'm just going over with a little bit of water I don't want to be like the color really the color of the paint I just want to be a little wash like you're putting gloss on you know it's not a lipstick it's like a gloss it's just a little pop of color but not covering everything doesn't look like it looks kind of like it's covering everything now that I'm doing the vo the voiceover and watching the video but it's not I'm just very watery paint um, over just to give a little shiny to her mouth and we're gonna go to her upper lips too like that always remember that in the middle uh, bottom lip and in the middle upper lip um, is a, li a little lighter um, for to give that really you know dimension to the lips so that's why you see that I left a little undone right there because I want to give that detail and always have the picture around so you can look when you click up there to get the template you're gonna get this picture too so you know which picture you can follow but you watch the video before you try to make the cake you know watch once or twice just to be sure um, which piece goes where you know and that will help you a lot but if you don't want to paint you watch the, the part one and you can really do without any paint you know um, the, the cake is gonna look pretty as well the template is this size but you can go to any office store and make as big as you want your cake to be you know so uh, it's easy for me to make the size because I can keep in the screen and not too far away so you guys can see it I'm taking my time with the lipstick I don't know why just because I like lips <laughs> it's like putting makeup on but we almost done um, you can put a little blush on her but um, Tinkerbell is kind of a little pale too they don't have that much makeup and now I'm just making two little dots of white for the light reflection of her eyes and you were almost done if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe so you don't miss any other tutorials Halloween is coming it's gonna be really fun and if you like this video please um, give me a thumbs up is really help or leave a comment to know 
um, what do you like it? If you want to make it, send me a picture. And with the pastel chalk, I'm just going over to give a little dimension to that branch that you have on her hair. If you're making a cake, just use a little paint, a dry, you know, the dry paint just to give a little dimension. And she's done. I hope you guys like it. Please let me know. And I'll talk to you guys soon in my new video. Bye.